Hello. Welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason. This is uh, your daily relaxation hypnosis session for stress, anxiety, and panic attacks. So each day is different. It's a different session. And within each session, some are very much technique based others is me just talking and then others still is like a mixture of the two um, so with this session I'm just going to get straight into the actual relaxation I'm going to ask you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so and um, if you're lying down a, a bed or a sofa uh, make sure you're safe and you're not going to fall off or anything. Make sure that's fine. Also, make sure if you're sitting in a chair, a comfortable chair, that if you do fall asleep, that it's got, you know, it's safe and it can hold your weight and, you know, there's no chance of you falling off the chair. These are important things that you're safe at all times um, because that's important. So, with your eyes closed, I'd just like you to focus on your eyelids. And notice as you do focus on your eyelids, your eyelids actually start to feel heavier. It's just a natural thing to happen. And no matter how relaxed you get or how deeply sleepy you may feel you can still hear my voice you don't necessarily have to listen to each and every word that i say even though you'll hear each and every word that i say but your un unconscious mind will absorb the words and parts of your brain will actually integrate certain ideas that are useful to you and your well-being now and for the future helping you and allowing you to feel more relaxed in the future as well from this moment forward everything that i say is aimed at helping you to feel more relaxed now and for every second onwards for the rest of your life you can find ways to feel calmer, to feel more relaxed, and more able to deal with life's challenges. So as you focus on your eyelids, just notice the small muscles around your eyes, maybe in the corners of your eyes, maybe just underneath your eyes, as I focus on my eyes, I can also, I can notice the feeling in my ears as well. It's not any kind of a weird feeling, it's just a feeling, a sensation of inside my ears, the opening maybe inside my ears and the skull or whatever, wherever it leads. And now I'm focusing on my throat, but inside the throat, just, you know, where I breathe and where I swallow, just that part of the throat. Now I'm focusing on my tongue. And if you'd like to join me on this journey of just focusing on the different parts of the body, I can tell you the parts that I'm focusing on, or maybe you'd just like to join me. So we can just have a, you know, a session of connection where we can both experience the same feelings. So as I focus on my tongue, kind of has a broadened sensation, including my mouth. And I realize I'm talking, so therefore I am moving my tongue and my mouth and 
perhaps I have more access to feeling it. So maybe you like to move your mouth around a little bit if it's comfortable and safe for you to do so. Maybe move your tongue around just so you can maybe have the same or similar relaxing sensation that I currently experience as I speak right now. And for some reason I've now gone back to my eyes. I'm now focusing on my eyes and at the same time focusing on my forehead. Noticing as I move my eyebrows up and down the effect it has both on my eyeballs and feel my eyeballs and sort of a relief, some kind of a, a slight gentle relief, even like a, a gentle kind of pleasure, a nice sensation in my eyeballs as I move my eyebrows up and down. I can also feel in my forehead because by moving my eyebrows, it also stretches the muscles of my forehead, stretches that skin. And now I'm kind of noticing my cheeks on my face, like either side, just below, just above my jaw, sort of um, parallel to where my mouth is, so my lips. As I've mentioned my lips, I'm now focused on my lips. But at the same time, probably 50-50 on my lips and also on my cheeks. Not just the outsides, but also the insides of my mouth, the cheeks and the inside. Kind of moving between the inside to the outside. And it's weird because I started thinking of the analogy between a mouth and a cave because inside your mouth is such a, such a precious place, such an important place for uh, your life, you know, for breathing oxygen and eating life-giving food. Uh, it's such an important uh, part of you, your mouth, also for talking, communicating. So it really is like a, uh, a treasure, a cave of treasure, but more important than any amount of treasure in the world. And just the idea of actually, it's such a, a precious place, as well as being a very personal place as well. A place where, you know, your, your teeth, your tongue, um, the opening leading to your throat, which is the opening to your body. And one of the few openings that can actually reach inside your body is through your mouth. Of course, you've got your nose as well. But the mouth is a much bigger area. And I was thinking of that, I suddenly had this feeling, I think because I was thinking about the, uh, the tubes going down the mouth, you know, from the mouth into maybe the stomach, also you've got the tubes going into your lungs. I started having the feeling down my chest, just a feeling of noticing, it wasn't any great sensation necessarily, just an awareness of the feeling from my neck down the middle of my chest to like the middle section, maybe to where the diaphragm is. So really that, that part between the collar, so the collarbone and the diaphragm, that section there which is kind of the middle of the chest. I'm now beginning to be aware of the outside of my chest on either side. Sort of the, 
In fact, the side of my body, underneath my arms, that area near my chest, but underneath my arms, the sides of my body lead into the chest. So that skin there. And I thought it was gonna move my attention to my chest, but it's actually gone to my back. Starting to really notice the middle of my back. Maybe it's because my back is against the, the chair, the back of the chair. So I could feel that, I could feel the chair supporting my back. So maybe you can feel your chair supporting your back also. Maybe if you're in a bed, uh, you can feel the bed or whatever flat surface you're lying on supporting your back safely and comfortably. And that feeling has moved back again to the sides of my back. Because where the back ends and the chest starts is very vague. It's a very vague kind of manoeuvre, a very kind of vague sensation because the chest is connected to the back. So sometimes what you feel is the back is in fact the chest. And especially if you're female, you can actually have your chest feel like it's in your back. So your breasts can be there and the breast tissue actually does reach into the back. It's more obvious than with men. With men, we've got the pectorials there and the, I forget, not deltoids, whatever the back muscle is. ultimately it's all connected by skin which means you can actually touch one part of your body and feel the sensation in another part of your body because it is all connected every part of your body is connected your lips are connected to your toes by skin and of course there's the nerve endings as well I'm talking about lips, I can now feel my lips again. Noticing, I was licking my lips, I didn't even realise I was doing it. And the sensation of just licking my lips, it's kind of a weird one, in a sense of, it's nothing quite like it. There's not much of my body that I can actually lick, maybe my hand, my arm, but the rest of my body is kind of out of reach. I used to be able to lick my toes when I was a little kid, but I don't have that flexibility. I don't think I'd want to anyway, to be fair. But there's that sensation of the lips just being touched. So I'm just touching my lip with my finger. And again, it's a different sensation and it's, it's pleasant. And relaxation can feel pleasant. It doesn't have to be pleasure though. It's not about giving yourself pleasure it's about giving yourself what you need, which is relaxation. And relaxation is something, it's not just there as something to do, to distract you from other things maybe that you don't want to do or don't want to think about. Relaxation is a necessity. It's as important as eating. It's a necessity. And 
And as I said that, as I said the word necessity, I immediately became aware of my breath. Both through my mouth and through my nose. Kind of alternating. And throughout this whole process, I'm not trying to feel relaxed. I'm not trying to force myself to have any specific physical or emotional or mental sensations. It really is just about being with my body and noticing whatever it is I notice, telling you what it is that I'm noticing and then allowing you if you or you allowing yourself to just follow me on the journey just to accompany me side by side and maybe focusing on those parts that I focus on so that we can just share this time together I'm noticing the back of my neck. And also as I swallowed then I noticed that, but my focus really is the back of my neck at the moment. And I didn't realize, but there's tension there. I'm just gonna observe it, notice what happens to that feeling, what, what changes as I just observe it. I'm not trying to cause anything particular to happen, but just allowing whatever happens to happen. And just being aware of it. Just being accepting to however I feel. And just as I say those words, I can feel back of my neck really feel lighter this might sound like a strange thing to say but it feels almost like how I would the feeling I would give to a cloud a cloud just floating by just just a normal white fluffy cloud just floating away I can feel the top of my head now in fact I can feel the whole of my scalp really mainly the top of my head but also the bottom of my head it's as if that sensation from the back of my neck moved up through the back of my head into the top of my head and again I'm feeling the top of my forehead plus my eyelids again my ears also and it's as if they're all doing the same thing as what the back of my neck just did just like floated away it's the real serene feeling there a real calmness and the same things now happening to my jaw My tongue is just resting on the bottom of my mouth. It's just there. I'm 
noticing the middle of my back again, moving down to my lower back, and the feeling's moving quite quickly because I just feel the sensation of my lower back relaxing really deeply right into the muscles. And I'm not trying to cause this to happen. It's just happening naturally as my lower back. In fact, the whole of my back now, I can feel my upper back and the back where, which leads to my shoulders. I can feel that part all the way down, just all calm and relaxed. Feels nice. Feels nice to be able to share this with you. And I do believe there's a there's a power that can be had by sharing energy, positive energy. There's definitely power can be had by sharing negative energy, so obviously it makes sense to sharing healthy, positive energy is also possible and beneficial. I'm now feeling my shoulders just starting to sink and re really relax. in my arms, tops of my arms. It's like my arms have just become one with the rest of my body. And my hands as well, and I can also feel my calf muscles, my knees, my thighs, the back of my thighs. And it's all happening at the same time. They're all relaxing at the same time. The front of my thighs, my hips, my groin, my buttocks. I can feel that sense of relaxation actually move inside my body. My feet, my ankles, and my toes. I was kind of surprised at how quickly that relaxation spread through my body. I can now feel it inside my head. seems to be a, a connection between my eyelids and inside my mind. As if my mind is somehow mimicking or copying my eyelids. Somehow coordinating with my eyelids to have the same level of relaxation and calmness. This feels really nice. It's as if the tension that was in my head is moving out of my eyes, but gently and softly and slowly as well. My mind is taking a bit longer to relax. So I 
I feel my scalp more relaxed. It feels like the inside of my scalp is also relaxed. And not just my mind, but also my physical brain. I can kind of picture it. brain is just relaxing. Now my eyes are completely relaxed and my face as well. And my entire body calm and loose. If I wasn't recording this, I'd probably find it quite easily to drift off to sleep. It feels so nice. We need to bring this to an end. Of course, you're welcome to drift off into sleep if you choose. You also if you want to just keep your eyes closed and continue to feel relaxed, you can also do that, of course. But I'm going to count to three. I'm going to get to three. If you choose so, you can open your eyes, feeling fully awake, alert, and at the same time, you can still experience all these feelings of physical mental and emotional deep relaxation. Now. One. Becoming more aware of your surroundings. Noticing. Like an outline of your entire body. Being aware of where you are and how you're sitting or lying. Two, knowing that every time you hear my voice or see my face on a video, you will naturally and instantly feel completely relaxed. And you can feel relaxed throughout the day and throughout the night and you'll find sleeping so much easier from now on and you will also find yourself able to deal with challenges as they arise in a much easier and simpler way than you ever imagined allowing yourself to keep composed and relaxed both physically and in your mind getting ready to open your eyes when I get to one one open your eyes if you choose to do so Remember that you can feel relaxed whenever you choose. You can enjoy being you because you are amazing and you are loved. So take care of yourself and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.